Hey everyone, I'm here today to talk about uh, an issue I had on my Attack from Mars game the other night that I recently fixed, but I just kind of wanted to go over the problem and how I fixed it. I mean, it's a quick issue, and probably many people know how to fix it, but for the people who don't, I'm just going to kind of walk through it really quickly. It was actually, like I said, a pretty easy fix. And what happened was I was playing the game the other night, and the T um, stand-up target, which is right here, and the eyes here, and the, the saucer uh, target is all in that same area. Uh, this stand-up wasn't working, so when I would go into test mode and go to switch test, you know, like if you hit this, it'll tell you, you know, the T stand-up is working, or if I hit the I, it'll tell me that these two are working. And with the wire, the white-orange uh, wire that connects to this target, uh, it kind of gives you, you know, the green-yellow with the white-orange of the, uh, the matrix of how these are all wired underneath the play field. So what the issue was, was that um, the wire was off on the next um, target or part in the matrix, which gave power to this stand-up. So that's why this stand-up wasn't working, because the wire popped off underneath the play field to where this line continued to the next, like I said, the next part of the matrix of what this connected to. So we'll go over the matrix real quick and show you kind of how I came to that conclusion and how I figured it out. Okay, so I pulled out my sheet here, which I downloaded this from a website. I think it's called like Incognito or something like that. I'll, I'll do a post on my uh, the show notes to uh, have the download link to where I got this uh, printout from. It's basically, it's a whole sheet that tells you the fuses, the lamp matrix, the solenoid and flashers, and the, and everything that you need to know about the game um, that's on one sheet. So it's an easy, quick reference to, uh, to look at. So basically how I figured it, what the problem was, was that I looked at this sheet and I looked at the, the wire that's connected to that uh, target we were looking at is a white-orange uh, line. So I kind of wanted to follow what else that connected to underneath the play field. So as you go, it's connected to the start button. It's not used over there. The trough ball, the two, I guess, for the opto, and the Martian target, T. And that's where I was having the problem. And then the left jet was the next one in line of what that was connected to. So that was the next place that I went to go look at. I, I mean, I wanted to look at all these if that wasn't the, the wire that was working. But everything else was working except the T. So I was like, well, I'll look at what's next in line. And that was the left jet um, uh, uh, popper underneath, you know, the play field. So that's where the wire was connected. So let's look at that underneath the play field and see where that wire was connected. So as you can see, this is the, uh, the switch underneath the play field. And you can see it has the white-orange wire with the green and white or yellow, green and yellow wire connected to that uh, stand-up target. And then if you look here, that's the one next to it. And this is the motor for the UFO that raises the, uh, the, the triple uh, stand-ups up and down. And then this one is the I, I believe, that's next to it. So that one, again, has a, the orange and white with the green and yellow that goes to that. And then it goes to this connector. And then this connector goes to here in this jumble of wires. And then to try to track that down, I mean, you could track it down if you want to pull all these zip ties off and all that. But it's kind of a pain in the neck to, to look for if you're going to try to track it down like that way manually and see. But if you go down here to this left uh, jet bumper here um, Right here where my pointer is That's the left uh, Pop bumper the left jet as we saw on that uh, matrix uh, Document sheet and that's the wire that was popped off was this wire right here. So that's why That switch or that stand-up I should say was not working because this wire was popped off which gave it power so Basically, this video is just to show how you could just look at that, that switch matrix or that wiring matrix uh, document and try to track down, well, if there's an orange and white wire here, where does that wire go to? And if you pull out that sheet and look at the matrix of what the next 
uh, switch or a next, you know, power source is in line of that, then you could kind of determine what it is, you know, and that kind of told me down here, that was the next thing in line. And it turned out to be that the wire was popped off. That's why there was no power to this. So that's basically what this video was about. Just a quick video. Hopefully all the repairs could be that easy. They're not always, but this one was fairly easy because I was able to detect it off that sheet and it turned out actually to be that the wire popped off. So thanks for watching the video. That was just a quick video. Again, just to show how a matrix uh, wiring matrix works and how to use it and how to track things down off of it. So stay tuned for my other videos coming next. Uh, and again, please look at my website, www.pinballsupernova.com. All the links are on that homepage to all my other pages or uh, video channels of uh, Facebook and YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. So again, thanks for all the the subscribers to YouTube and everybody watching all the videos uh, on YouTube and all the subscriptions to my website. Really appreciate it. Talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.